Hello friends and students. In this video segment, we shall see how to perform octal subtraction. And in the previous video segment, we have seen how we can perform octal addition. Now, when we perform octal subtraction, we need to be a bit careful, especially when we take a borrow from the previous stage. So let us see what happens. Now, in order to understand octal subtraction, let us revisit subtraction of decimal numbers. Now, say I subtract 15 and then I have 0, 9. So we know that we actually take a borrow. We just write a 0 and we put a 1 here. So this becomes 15, isn't it? So therefore, you have 15 minus 9, I get 6. Now, how does this become 15? When I actually take a, a borrow of 1, we are actually adding the decimal value 10 to this number. So 10 plus 5. So this is what we do when we perform subtraction. Now, similarly, when we perform octal subtraction, when we take a borrow, we have to add 8 to the given number. So here in decimal, we add 10 to the given number. In octal, we know that there are 8 digits varying from 0 to 7, right? So therefore, we have to add 8 to the given number because the unit's place has a weight 8 power 0. And then you have 8 power 1, 8 power 2, and so on. So this is how the weights are for the digits in the octal. So suppose I have an octal number 4, 1, 3, 2. Right? So this has a weight 8 power 0, 8 power 1, 8 power 2, and 8 power 3. So when I take a borrow from the previous stage, I have to add 8 to the given number. So let us see how we can perform subtraction here. So this is how we need to be careful while performing octal subtraction. So let's take the first example. 4, 6, 7, minus 2, 3, 3. So here is a case where there is no borrow because all the digits, so 7 is greater than 3, so 7 minus 3 is 4, 6 minus 3 is 3, 4 minus 2 is 2. So this is the answer. So since there is no borrow here, it's very simple. Let's take another example. I have 2, 1, 5, minus 1, 6, 6. So now what happens? I need to take a borrow here. So this becomes 0. So when I take a borrow, I add 8 to this number 5. So what is 8 plus 5 is 13 minus 6. So 13 minus 6 would give me 7. So the answer is 7. So again here, I need a borrow. So this becomes 1. So I add 8 to 0. So 8 plus 0 is 8. So 8 minus 6 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is the answer. So 215 minus 166 equals 027. So this is how we perform octal subtraction. So when you take a borrow from the previous stage, so you have to add 8 to the given number is what you need to remember. If you remember this, then octal subtraction is very easy. So let's take another example. I have 4, 6, 2, 3, minus 3, 5, 6, 7. So again, here you observe that I need a borrow, 1. So I add 8 to 3. So what is 8 plus 3? 11. So 11 minus 7 is 4. Then I have 1 here, so I need a borrow. So this becomes 5. So when I take a borrow, I add 8 to this number. So 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. 5 minus 5 is 0. 4 minus 3 is 1. So this is the answer in octal, which is 1, 0, 3, 4. So this is how we perform octal subtraction. It's actually very simple. You just have to remember that when you take a borrow, you have to add 8 to the given number, and then you perform subtraction. right? So this is how we perform octal subtraction. But now, how do we perform octal multiplication? So we will see that in the next video segment. So do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and press the bell icon to get notifications or all the further uploads. And do check out all the videos in Digital Electronics in the eye icon or in the playlist Digital Electronics. Thanks for watching.